This is a 2022 Fleetwood Bounder, and new for this year is the dash. This is a big change from the last year's dash. It was a mid-year change. They moved your screen for Apple CarPlay and your radio from the location to the right steering wheel to the center console. And also they took away the drawer. But there is space behind this for storage. Now we have two comfortable seats. Both seats swivel. The passenger seat does recline. Also, there's a computer tray that conveniently folds out of the desk. This is different from last year. Now as we come back, we see that this has a dinette and the theater seats on the driver's side. Now this, the theater seats are an option. You can get a sofa that folds out. These look much more cushiony than ours. It, they do, actually. I, I sat on it. It's, it's <laughs> very fluffy. And similar to ours, this also does not come with an oven option. It can, but this one doesn't have it. It has, it has a propane cooktop, three burner, and a convection microwave oven. Which I must say works really well. I baked cookies in it. <laughs> yes, they were good cookies, too. We still have the, di the deep sink double-sided stainless steel but it looks like they replaced the faucet this is new but it does the same thing ours does oh look at the head you see the head yeah, the this is beautiful isn't it oh yeah that is I so like much that nicer faucet. than ours mm -hmm. and, and then also note the oh the backsplash, the backsplash. Yes. it's got a very nice backsplash it's very nice and as we move back we see the refrigerator and new for 2022 i see they've changed the refrigerator no more handles it's sleeker. Now, John, you know what's really good about that? What? Is when the doors open, open the right side of the door. All right. Right? There's, there was always a, a fear with ours oh, that it going the into the TV because <laughs> yes. it had the handles extending from here. But that's no longer a concern. With no. This and the handle is basically under the door and on top of the freezer here. Let's see that inside of that freezer, John. And I believe it's hooked on this side. Yes. It's on the wall. And look at the size of this, people. Very deep with a drawer and an ice maker. Beautiful. This television, just like in ours last year, no change there, and a fireplace, which also heats. And the television moves? Yes, the, the television wall. is magnetically placed on the wall, so you can tilt it, angle it at any direction you wish. Let's open up some of the cabinet space up there. Oh, yeah. These are very shallow. John, why don't you stick your hand in there? Yeah, it goes about to your wrist. Yes. But you can still put some things in there. Yes. Also, we have these kitchen shelves, which are pretty deep. They go very far back. And, and adjustable. Yes, these shelves move up and down, and they're coated with felt, so it's really nice. We also have a lot of storage over the dinette and the seats. It goes back a long way. And there are six of these doors all the way across the slide. And this is a pretty nice place also. It's very roomy. It goes all the way back to this wall. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I've never seen the full bath in the 33C. But this is pretty nice. You have the toilet right there. You want to stand in the shower so people can see? Sure. Tell me how tall you are. <laughs> I'm only 5'7". And this is very nice. It's wide. You step in here. Now, it's not very wide this way. But it is very wide this way. And it, I can reach my arm straight up to reach the skylight. <laughs> Brand new. Now, ready? Mm -hmm. Moving to the bedroom, I see we have a slightly different door in this one than ours. We have a pocket door. This one is a double door. Uh, it's still a pocket side door. It's very nice. All your light controls are right here in the bedroom. You can you don't have to go up front. We have a large cabinet there. <laughs> Hello. 
This is also not in the 35K. Ooh. A very large closet. Look at that. You can hang a lot of coats in there. And it has shelves too. Yes. I like that. I like that closet. And right next to this closet. This is very nice. So the closet goes all the way through, but when you come to the shelves, they're separated. Oh, I see that. Mm -hmm. That's different. And then we have this is where, yeah, same as ours. This is where your fuses are. I mean, your breaker box. And you have two slide out drawers here. And then the secret storage that everyone knows about. Oh behind the television, which is also your fuse box and your Illumiplex panel. Now here, you can put a washer-dryer combo in here, but this one does not have it. Yes, that's another difference. There is a nice large window in the back of the 33C that the 35K does not have. Uh, what we're going to do with our tours is tell you a little bit about the rig and then give you my favorite feature John's pet peeve and then we're going to look at the perceived build quality because we can't see inside of things um, we're gonna look at the stuff on the outside to see what the build quality is like so we'll start with John yes what is your pet peeve I believe you already know this one shall we go to the front of the coach yes front of the coach please Follow me. I do not like this new dashboard. I love the one that we have in our 35K that has this screen over here. And I have the rear view screen over there. So I have all my screens around me because this screen can also show your cameras. So it's kind of nice to have that, that sort of cockpit feel. Also, I will say there's one good thing about this dash, only one. You don't have to worry about the computer tray sliding in and out while you're driving. It's supposed to be my favorite feature. You're oh, sorry. Me. Stop taking my thunder, man. I didn't know that was your favorite feature. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here. Okay, John, that was your pet peeve. And you know, I have to agree with you. Um, I don't know how you can actually see that screen while you're driving, particularly if you're my height and you have your seat all the way up. There's just no way to see that screen, and you're really going to be dependent upon your passenger. And not everybody travels with somebody else. There are lots of people that we've met who full-time alone um, in coaches this side. So you're spot on with that one. It would be nice if it at least tilted a little bit to the side. Uh, my favorite feature, I know this is going to seem silly, but my favorite feature is this sink. I really do like this. As well as, I'm going to do two favorite features. Oh no! <laughs> when we work, when I work when John is driving in the rig, the slide out tray, desk tray, or snack tray, or whatever kind of tray you want to call it, it's not very stable. And I think that this one here, much, much better. It's not going anywhere, and it comes all the way out, and I can sit here, and I can work very nicely. From the back. Okay, so now we're going to talk about perceived build quality. The things that we're going to look at, um, the things that would have clued us in on our boundary that there were some issues. We're going to look for gaps, cracks, missing screws, dents, scratches, bulges, um, uh, how things are cut. So John and I are going to go run through the rig right now and do that for you. So the first thing that John and I noticed that we really don't like is the way this is cut here. You see that gap? Turn and it's oh. it's on this side as well. Yeah. Um, it just doesn't seem to be. Oh wait, this one is the left is different from the right. Look it here. is the cut is different. I don't know why it's so different, but it's it yeah. seems just too big on the left here. It seems like it's it too big. Out. So that's one thing. This could be just from a nick from transport or some people walking in and out, but that's one thing. So this is kind of weird. This right here on this side, the cut is a little bit lower. And I know it's hard to see with the lighting that we have here than this side. And then you can see all the bulges in here. 
Also, you can see here, not all of these screws are in all of the way. And with our RV, we found that a lot of the uh, problems we had were because of things just weren't screwed in properly. This looks like it's a bit uneven here. I don't know if you can see it on the... It also looks like some of the issues that we have, like what we're having right now with our wallpaper as the glue's coming through, it looks like they may have fixed it here by adding this strip on here. So that looks much neater. Yeah. So you notice that they've changed here is that they've made this metal latches versus those plastic ones. Um, that cause so, uh, so many issues. They, they've really done a lot of nice changes. Um, the things that we had problems with, it looks like they fixed. From the fridge, to a more comfy sofa, reclining sofa, to the latches, the back door to the bedroom, and the, uh, on the molding on the walls. Yep. They did a nice job. So after looking through this bounder, um, I think John and I both agree. Uh, we showed you some of the things that we saw, but it seems like this one is put together better than ours was, and yeah. some of the things that we had problems with uh, have been resolved in this bounder. So yep. I like it, because even with the, the tri-door, I'm not sure what it's called, guys, sorry. Yeah. Um, I think that solved some of the problems that we were having with our door. Um, right. Just that pocket door just... Um, it's, it's flaky. Issues. It has its issues. So, and this Overall, one is open, so it's easy to fix if it yeah, has a problem. They have better recliners in oh, this yeah. one. Oh yeah, nice and comfy. Um, so overall, I would I would give the build quality on this one an eight out of ten from what we can see. Yes, from what we can see. Yes. All right.